What's up guys, Manu here, welcome back to the channel. We are at the Suzuki Stockyard building as usual. And in this episode, I'll be showing you the tiniest car that Suzuki has to offer. It is cute, but very capable. And that is the Suzuki Espresso. We are at the sixth floor and as you can see, it is filled with Suzuki Espressos. See that? It's a sea of colorful Suzuki Espressos. All right, so we're gonna talk about this. I'm gonna show you the features, the benefits, and uh, what you gonna call this? Everything about the Suzuki Espresso. As I said, the Espresso is the smallest car that Suzuki has to offer. It is cute, but very capable in getting you to where you want to go. It replaced a now phased out for the Philippines Alto and is the only mini AUV in the country. You could also say it is the tiniest SUV in the market, but in my opinion, I would call it the Jimny Light. Exterior is very simple with no crazy lines or angles to distract you. The grille is very SUV-ish with the Suzuki Loco in the middle. Halogen headlamps light lead the way, large doors on the side, and a big hatch at the back. You also get large windows to help you see things around you. Wheels are 14-inch alloys with 165 by 70 road bias tires. Suspension up front is a MacPherson strut and the rear is torsion beam. You get disc brakes at the front and drums at the back and is equipped with ABS. Maneuvering the Espresso in and out of tight spaces, especially with the help of the electric motor powering steering. On top of that, the Espresso has a tight turning radius of 4.5 meters. Ground clearance is also a big plus. It's at 180 millimeters above the ground. Now don't let the little exterior of the Espresso fool you with regards to interior space and comfort. I am 6 foot 1 feet tall and fit in the vehicle comfortably. Interior of this car is very simple with a gauge cluster located right in the middle of the dashboard. You have your speed indicator, fuel gauge, temp gauge, clock, and warning lights. Below that is a 6 inch touchscreen radio with Bluetooth and SUV. Below that, you also have your driver and passenger window controls, AC control and charging ports. Yes, air conditioning is super cold even at the lowest setting. For the back though, you don't get power windows, but it's okay. Seats, of course, are adjustable forward and back to allow driver and passengers of all sizes to sit comfortably. As you can see here, there is still room at the back for three people. Speaking of room, if you need to carry large items, you can fold the rear seats flat to carry your stuff. For your safety, the Espresso is the product of Suzuki's HardTech platform, which focuses on lightweight yet rigid structure, but its primary focus is on passenger safety and impact absorption. It is also equipped with two airbags at the front and seat belts with pretensioner to ensure your safety. You also have a latch to mount a baby seat securely. Now for the big question, how big is the engine? In this case, it's tiny, yet capable. The Espresso is powered by a 1 liter, 3 cylinder K10 engine that produces 67 horsepower and 90 newton meters of torque. It is the exact same engine found in the previous and current gen Celerio. Best fuel economy rating is at 25 to 27 kilometers per liter. Now, sad to say, the Espresso only comes in 5-speed manual transmission. But despite that, the clutch on the Espresso is very easy and the gearbox is very smooth. Who knows, maybe next year we will be getting an automatic version. For a more detailed description of the Espresso, I have included a link in the description below. Pricing for the Espresso on average is at 600,000 Philippine pesos, depending on where you're located in the archipelago. If you're interested in buying one from me, feel free to send me a message in any of my social media accounts. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you want something bigger from Suzuki, please check my videos on the Suzuki Ortiga, XL7, and APV. As always, see you next time. Bye.
ました。